What's up you guys, this is Junior Trader and in this video we are taking a look at Nvidia stock. Guys, so today we have a green candle on Nvidia after a massive flush yesterday. Is this becoming again an upside play heading into next week and um, or is, is it still in the downtrend? And is it still a short play? Is, the, is it going to continue lower or can Nvidia change its direction and go up and bulls are again back in control. We'll identify all that in this video and we'll talk through the things. And before going for further, I want to let you know none of this is any financial advice, only for education purposes. You are solely responsible for your own financial decisions and outcomes. I'm only providing here my opinion and that's all. Everything is only for education purposes. Nothing is financial advice. So as you can see, we have a green candle on NVIDIA and all in all, overall, the market tried to go up today. Like all the tech stocks that sold off yesterday, most of them have regained their previous, you know, uh, levels. And even QQQ and SPY, I just want to show you, I'll talk about this in just a second, but this, they tried to go up as well. And so was NVIDIA. Now, the thing is that though, NVIDIA, let's talk about its price action. We have found today the support at around one of our significant level 862. I talked about the 891 level right over here. Losing this is definitely was the flush as we saw on the hourly interval yesterday as well. And market is just about to close guys as the making of this video is only 14 seconds left, 13, 12 and counting down. So we though have found support at 862 but this was one of the areas we were targeting that will come all the way down to after losing 891 so we got all of that play we haven't yet lost this funnel area of 850 to 825 where losing this level will mark nvidia into a complete distribution phase and that will be then heading much lower. But remember, we are still below, we are below 20 days moving average. So in the near term, things haven't gotten fully bullish on NVIDIA. NVIDIA is still is in the bears territory. Yes, so today's rebound, right? Let's talk about that. Now, since the market has closed, before going further, I just wanna show you the uh, my day trading bot here. So, yeah, it made some good moves today as well. Even in the rebound, we got some buying positions here on NVIDIA, good profits. You can see the last 30 trades of data over here on NVIDIA. Things are looking great. If you need access to my tools, my day trading bot, my indicators, Wall Street alerts, links to all of the tools are in the description below of this video. So let's go back to the, let's go to the hourly interval and let's talk about, uh, the price action as you know how do, how do we read this now is it is it becoming bullish again or are we still in the bear territory so on hourly interval this rebound that's fine i expect it 877 was the rebound i expected we did go a little bit higher right we went above 877 and we are finding a support then throughout the day over there right so if i take you to five minutes again here and you can see that we found the support at just around this $877 range. This is why level trading is so important. You can see this is where price rejected twice. Once we broke out of it, this is where it's held its level as well. So that's why it's so important, these level trading. I mean, you need to have these levels on your chart to, to make these decisions properly. So going back onto the hourly interval, yes, we haven't really broken the structure to the upside again. We, we are not bullish, okay? This is just a rebound in the already downtrend. I talked about in my yesterday video as well. Downtrend will, will proceed with the rebounds. And now here's the thing. We got that rebound today. And my day trading bot gave the buy on the rebound as well. Look at it. So awesome that is. We are bullish we can start becoming bullish on nvidia if it starts to recapture 891 we haven't done that yet okay we haven't done that yet if we lose 800 you know we if we still lose 876 
862 is again a possibility and losing 862 will put us back into this distribution phase, the bottom of the distribution phase, and NVIDIA is still gonna maintain its downtrend. NVIDIA today as well, still right now, is still in the downtrend. So nothing is bearish. Well, sorry, nothing is bullish right now on NVIDIA here it is still bearish to the downside in my opinion okay now is something changing is it looking to change that is the 876 dollars level if nvidia finds support at 876 and or 800 and you know almost 877 right um or below or above 20 hours moving average right it can turn itself around so nvidia does have a chance of making this a pivot but it hasn't made that pivot yet not confirmed yet i would say that confirmation is let it break 50 hours or also this high of 882 but i would only be more leaning towards becoming structure becoming bullish again if it can regain 891 as well yes 200 hours moving average is still uh, up there but if 891 we regain in this again 200 hours moving average is most likely going to break uh, the price is going to break through this 200 hours moving average all right so that's still the pattern on nvidia in my opinion so this is still 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 looking a downside game other than that um you know it's this zone between 891 and 877 needs to be treated as a zone of indecisiveness and choppy zone break on either direction will proceed with the continuation in that direction above 891 bullish again below eight below 876 is continuation to the downside okay so that's what is with nvidia guys for you and i'll be doing a lot uh, more informative video on nvidia over the weekend as well going through some weekly intervals as well showing you short volume data as well and all of that so hit the like subscribe and i'll you know um share more of my in-depth opinion uh, then as well now yeah so once we lose start losing 862 we are not so bulls are not in control yet guys bulls are not in control yes we have a green candle but structure and the pattern is more still in the benefit of the bears and yeah i mean let's see next week we'll des decide definitely next week we'll either put nvidia back in the bullish phase or it's going to mark this as the distribution phase anyways more we'll talk about in you know my weekend video as well that i'll do on nvidia uh, let's take a look at QQ and SPY real quick. So, yeah, QQ tried to, you know, go up, but closed below 441 is, and it's still in the distribution phase, in my opinion. It's just taking quite a long time, but I think they'll receive a follow-through to the downside. Nothing is guaranteed. Have a stop loss regardless, but that's just my opinion, looking at the price action right now. Similarly on SPY, to me, it looks like a distribution phase, and we would head lower, but SPY is a bit stronger then QQQ for sure um, but yeah I would want to see a follow through the next candle we if we receive red candle then it's already you know marking off the confirmation of distribution phase on SPY well guys anyways that's it for this video if you found it helpful valuable hit the like subscribe and with that I'll see you in my other videos guys take care bye